my loves, welcome back to another makeup tutorial. This is again another one for Eid or an Indian wedding guest kind of thing. I just think this is really pretty, even for every day. I just love this. Like, it's very wearable. It's definitely something I would wear, you know, out and stuff on a on a day to day basis because I wear very like minimal makeup on a day to day basis. But I've been enjoying doing like more kind of dramatic, kind of almost drag makeup. Um, like it's very like intense on the eyes I just love doing it um, and I would probably only wear it to like special special occasions but this is more something that's me and, and I know a lot of you wanted something more laid back but still a bit glam at the same time um, I really wanted to concentrate green on the eyes and do a pink lip I know a lot of you wanted to see a pink and gold one but I will link one in the info box um, I have done one and it's actually one of my favourite looks I've ever done because it's just so nice and pinky and gold. So yeah, check that one out if you want something like that. Again, the jewellery is from Amazon. I will link it in the info box. It's actually really nice quality for the price. And you get the whole set. You even get the ticker, but I didn't wear it today. Um, but yeah, I think that's all I have to say, guys. Before I go, I'm going to do my post notification shout-out. And today's post notification shout-out goes to Janan Nixo. Janani XO, I hope I'm saying that right. Thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button, and comment in the comments below when you have done so. Anyways, I'm going to stop talking. I hope you enjoy the tutorial, guys, and we'll jump straight onto it. Right, so brows are done. I'm going to move straight onto my face today. My, my face is literally dry. Dry. This is definitely one of my favourites. Again, I've broken a nail. I know, I know. Forget your SPF. I'm using my Body Shop Skin Defense. Today's foundation is going to be the Clinique Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup. It's a super lightweight, natural foundation. This is what it looks like. You just twist the top bit, and it comes out like this. This foundation is literally like my my color. And it's all over. I'm gonna pop some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer under my eyes. Whenever I do like a light base, I really want my under eyes to look like flawless. Even if my my base is like light, I just feel like it balances it, and makes it. Especially if I'm doing like kind of like natural but glam look. I'm just using a brush, press that in place. This is the Real Techniques contour brush. I think it's rubbed off. I've had this for so long. Whatever's left on the brush, I'm just putting my forehead, bridge of the nose. Look at that, that just made it look super flawless. What I'm going to use is the Beauty Bakery Flower Setting Powder in yellow. We're going to move on to the eyes quickly. I'm using the Soph um, palette by Makeup Revolution, the first one she did, and I'm using this poopy colour right here. I love this kind of camel color this is just gonna go in the crease so yeah just literally buffing this in the crease so wherever your line, so when you look straight, you know that line? So basically under the brow bone, wherever that bone stops, just place it under there. I'm going to take some of this shade right here. I'm just going to build this into the crease, keeping it even more.
so once you have something that looks like that you want to do kind of like the same thing on the lower lash line so I'm first putting that camel shade I'm going to mix these two lighter shades and put that on my brow bone I'm going to use the Eye at Heart Revolution Multi Liner. This is the colourful one. I am going to grab the green shade. I know I've been using these a lot, but they're just so nice. And I love that, the fact that you have so many options in one place. And you can just twist it up. You don't need a sharpener. I just love these. So I'm just going to use the green and just really like apply it on the lower lash line as liner. Not lower lash line, the upper lash line. I'm going to just bluntly stop it, but I'm going to make it a little bit thicker on the outer corner. I'm going to use this beautiful greeny shade and just pop this on the line and smoke it out. You know, I was just saying to myself, oh, I, just, I hope that, you know, these tree cutters don't come today and now they are. I do apologise for that. I did use some of this colour on the outer corner and create like a gradient and smudged out a bit. Are they being for real? What is he doing out there? Cutting trees? I am putting a bit of green on the lower lash line as well. Right, and then finally I'm just going to curl my lashes. I know I used the double stacked one in yesterday's tutorial, but I really like the Bobbi Brown, but it's a bit on the drier side, but I still want to use it because it's high end. And I do really like this mascara, but it just dries up so quick, but it just gives instant volume. So I wanted to try the two together and see if they work really well together. I haven't managed to get my lashes how they used to be before. That's why I keep wearing um, falsies because I just... I don't know, they, they're not looking like the way I want them to. I swear they're having a chainsaw competition out there, like... What? I could say I'm quite happy with that, I love this eye. This one has always been my dodgy lash eye, and my dodgy eye, I can't even see through it. Um, but this one I really like. It's, I'm going to use my sleek contour kit in dark, and I'm going to use this shade right here. Just using a stippling brush. I guess today was just not meant to be for me to do a talk through video, I guess. So I'm gonna keep blending and I'm gonna put music. Okay. I'm going to grab some of my Topshop bronzer and salute. For highlights, I'm going to use the Gilded Honey Liquid Highlighter and pop that on the, my cheekbones with a damp beauty blender. Not only does this product make your skin look so wet looking and healthy and dewy and soft, it smells like sweet vanilla. I'm going to use this shadow here as blush. I'm 
Then for my lips, I'm going to start off with this Urban Decay Vice Liquid Lipstick in... This is called ZZ. Next, I'm going to mix in some of the Maybelline Superstay Matte Lipstick in Driver. Alright guys, so that is the finished look. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you all have an amazing Eid, Eid Mubarak, if I'm saying that right. You know, the accent is terrible. Yeah, happy Eid everyone. Have an amazing time. Eat lots of food, good food. Food. I'm really craving like Indian sweets. I want gulab jamun. Yeah, you know the dark one. No, I don't like the light ones. I like the dark gulab jamun. <sighs> Again, I apologize for all the sound in the background. I'm just so sorry. Like, but I really enjoy doing um, talk throughs. They're just so annoying. Like, it's every time. Every time when I film, there has to be some noise. But yeah, I'm sorry about that. But I hope you found this video helpful, and I will see you all in my next video. Love you guys.